Good morning, beautiful world. Happy late spring. It doesn't really feel like spring though because it is 55 degrees today. So I wanted to show you guys a little thing I like to do in the fall and winter. When I have citrus that has gone a little bit past its prime, I like to make a simmer pot. So watch me make a late spring simmer pot, giving myself a little sneak peek of all the scents of fall. Okay, so here is my citrus that has gone way past its prime. This is rock hard. This is browning. This is browning. But all is not lost. There's still some great citrusy scents in there. I like to get a big pot of water, cinnamon sticks, some ginger, and whole cloves. I'm gonna slice up my citrus and add in my spices and boil away. All right, I sliced up all of my citrus. Gonna add it all into the pan. Still smells good, even though it looks a little funky. Turn the back of my heat up pretty high to start off with. I already got some cinnamon sticks in there. Just need a couple cloves. And I like to do a little bit of ginger. It's a nice little spiciness. Let me get one of my witchy spoons. Super witchy, this is the spirit spoon. Give it a nice little mix. And let that start to, once it boils, turn it down, probably down to here to a simmer. I wanna get it started. Switching the camera back to me. So there you have it, a late spring simmer pot because it is that chilly that I can do that and use up some of my citrus and enjoy the wonderful scents that will definitely be in the kitchen but will start to linger throughout the rest of the house. So I hope you're having a beautiful spring and that you're enjoying your gardens and your families and that you can make the most, whatever your situation is, always learning lessons and always making your life magical. Hey, so I am obsessed with these new GTs Alive Ancient Mushroom Elixirs. It comes in root beer and cola. And I mean, look at the quality of this glass bottle. So I'm just soaking these in some hot water. And these bad boys are peeling off so nice. And I mean, that is a dope ass medicine bottle. Just saying. Soaking these bad boys, peeling them off. I don't know what medicine I'll put in there. Maybe I'll make my own elixirs, but that is a thrifty, hippie, witchy win, if uh, I don't say so myself. I know there's no smell vision but this smells so good. Honestly, I started celebrating spooky season in August, so... <laughs> It's really not that far off that I'm smelling these smells here in the very beginning of June. Um, the clove and the cinnamon, the ginger, the citrus, um, gorge. Sorry, I'm trying to stir without literally looking at what I'm doing. I'm looking at the camera screen. So yeah, today we need a spring simmer pot. And then I got all these elixir bottles. Let me switch this around. And I'm just enjoying this day off. Letting this simmer, cleaning up a little. I fed my snakes, did some dishes. I'm about to take my dog on a walk and I am just living it up. I hope you are too. So I just took my dog for a walk and my daddy and you guys are gonna see it at the same time. We were walking by this guy's house and I noticed something in his trees and it's Cherries! The guy let me pick cherries. 
he looked very uh, unamused. <laughs> He's like, I can't climb. I was like, can I take some of your cherries? So I just used my shirt as like a basket and I kind of just filled up the bottom of my shirt with some cherries. And I thanked the tree and I thanked the man's name's Bobby. And um, while I was picking, my dog was eating little cherries. And so uh, that's another little piece of my magical Sunday morning. how gorgeous this tree is. I mean, full bloom. And that beautiful dog. Guys, rabies shot yesterday. Just wanted to do an update on my garden. I mean, just what a beautiful day. Everything is so green. Just wanna tie him up first. Come on, Zach. I hope I keep a little lead. This is some crazy filming. Oh, man down, man down. Maybe I'll edit it out, maybe I won't, we'll see. Okay, just wanted to show a little update, you update on the garden. So this is the hummingbird garden. And it's all things that the hummingbirds would like. Got a little bird feeder too. And it's all flowers that the hummingbirds would like. And I'm gonna actually go inside my garden. We'll get a little closer. I built this garden in 2020. Oh, look at this new plant I got. I don't know if the deer will eat it, so I put this cage around it because not messing around, yo. Not messing around. All right, let's get up into this hummingbird garden. And can we just take a minute to be like, whoa, I appreciate you. Gorgeous. The hummingbirds love things they can stick their little beaks in. This is called a cigar plant. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. This red one up here, this is a shrimp plant. And this is one of my favorite to watch them drink from. It's really so exciting. Get over here. Look how cool. This is called Persian Shield. Oh, I lost one of the flowers. Super cool. Sorry, little flower. Along here, I got some tomato plants. Sage. Oregano. That's an eggplant. And then I planted a little flower in there. Patchouli, patchouli. Oh, this is my first time growing chamomile. Chamomile, chamomile. It's little yellow flowers, and that's what the tea's made out of, so we'll see. Some other eggplant. This is a squash. I grow them vertically. And this guy has some basils. Starting to flower. Beautiful smell. What do I got against the wall? I got some tomatoes and peppers. This is a stevia plant. This is great. You take the leaves and mash it up and it's a sweetener, a natural sweetener. Got some acorn squash. Another squash plant here. These are my cucumbers. Got some more tomatoes. That's another eggplant. And a nice wall of mint. And then in the back, I have an old ironing board and instead of throwing it away, I use it as a table for flowers. Oh, and this is St. John's wort. It's my first time working with that as well. I'm gonna use it in a happiness spell. Then I took these little planters and I put one plant in each one and I kind of just put them along the posts just to add. So 
So that's my little garden. I'll walk you around the front. Just a little planters. Little cutesies. But it brings a lot of beauty to the yard. This is Russian sage. Love it. This is Yara, but my deer keep eating it. So it's like double caged and double netted. Yeah, it's a butterfly bush. And real quick, my magic altar. Here's a new piece I got. Look at this from. He's like a little hanger. He's cute. Oh, and here's another thing I did that's new. This is newish. I got this last month. Fairy door. I planted some sage down by my tree and altar. This is a dogwood tree. She is my altar spot. I got that little fairy door. I planted some sage. There's a little net over it just in case anyone wanted to dig it up. And a little bird bath. And then I'm coming over to my herb garden because I had to replant all my sage. See, I use the little planters. I got a couple veggies over here, but look at my lemon balm. It's gorgeous. And then on the ground, all that you see that's green, those are new sage plants. And some new ones. And I grow things in buckets, guys. You could do it too. But right here, these greens right here, that's pineapple sage that's coming back. And then back there, it's catnip. So everything is looking lush and beautiful. Just wanted to give you a little garden update. It is June 4th, 2023. In the yard, my baby dog. Gonna upload my video of my beautiful Sunday morning. My little baby and Zaki gets it at the end.